Hi, family. Welcome to your Monday the 5th reading. Family, as you know, I've been posting the community board. I'm back from my trip. Um, I've taken a little little time here today to uh, rest a bit and to, re I wouldn't say recharge, because I just came back from recharging, but um, I've been around a lot of people. Um, I've been cleansing my aura and cleansing my energy from this uh, trip that I took. I was kind of stuck at the airport in California yesterday. There was a lot of severe weather, severe rain. Delayed our flight for like five hours. Um, but we didn't get in until like four in the morning. So I had a late start today. It's okay because uh, I wanted to share with you guys this entire trip. It was a very strong message from spirit. And it was very clear and it was very obvious that this trip was a very strong message personally the message that i got from the divine from the universe from spirit is to really trust flow allow have faith and um as i always say trust the detours the plans i'm, I'm sorry the, the detours the delays and the pauses is all for a reason and this trip showed exactly that i even journaled it i even journaled it uh because the magic and the miracles and the alignment and the fluidity of it was incredible. It kept bringing me back to that reading, that Aquarius weekly reading that I did, that Spirit was saying, enjoy the ride, just flow. I don't know if you guys caught that reading. I still have to do the Aquarius reading. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, family. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, and I'll just extend it from Tuesday to Tuesday. I just have to right now just keep telling myself and reminding myself to just be and flow, which has been the message. I keep um, in my head uh, this morning, I was like, I got to do this. I got to do that. I have to do this. I have to do that. And then I heard spirit say, stop it. Stop it. Stop it now. You're in masculine energy of striving. I've been guided. I've been, I've been being guided to this deck all day. So I'm going to use it today. Um, this striving card keeps coming up for me throughout the trip. And uh, this trip showed me firsthand, firsthand, how the universe really does have our backs, family. Everything was so smooth. Everything was so fluid. Angel numbers everywhere. Talk about asking you shall receive. So many miracles. I ran into so many earth angels. There's so many earth angels out there, family. Like they just pop up. They just pop up when you when you need assistance. They just pop up out of nowhere. Um, everything was just right on time uh when the universe says everything is, is going to fall into place and align exactly how it should exactly how it's meant to be right on time that's exactly how this entire trip was and it's all uh from being it, it's like it's also a very strong message about how connected i am to my intuition and how strongly i'm following it because it was my intuition that led to the the circumstances and the events that was in alignment and flowy and and and, and falling right on time from beginning to the end even though we were in the end, the only thing that wasn't flowy was us getting on the flight at the time we were meant to. But again, as I always say, everything is for a reason. It was for our safety. <laughs> you know, the angels are protecting us. It, there is a, a, a huge storm. There's no way we're going to let you fly in this weather. <laughs> you know, so um, it was a very magical event uh, throughout the entire process. As you know, I'm, I'm a projector, human design. So, so spirits kept uh, saying, you know, uh, this is an invitation you must accept. I got home and I checked on my energy. I pulled some guidance in the ocean card and uh, going near the ocean came out again for me from two different decks. I'm like, spirit, I just came back from the ocean. What do you mean? I need more, I need more ocean. <laughs> yes, I always need more ocean. So, um, it was, it was, I went, I went to support my daughter. She's an Aquarius. Her birthday's on the 8th. Happy birthday to everyone having a birthday today. Monica, Monica Watson, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday today is your birthday. Um, I know that for a fact. <laughs> and my daughter's birthday is on the 8th. So she wanted to go see her favorite DJ. I took one for the team. 
I uh, enjoyed the trip. Uh, I was a great experience. Um, her style and type of music is, is not my vibe, but um, I went because I didn't feel it was safe for her to travel alone. And she's extremely free spirited. So she was going to go alone. And I said, no, 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 I'm going to go with you. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm glad I did. It was a, a very quick, a quick, a quick little, little, little getaway and um, worth it. And again, family, uh, uh, spirit just wanted me to see for myself. It feels like this trip was for me to see for myself how, how beautifully aligned if you if you just stay in the present moment and you follow your intuition how everything falls into place exactly how it's meant to there were so many synchronicities so much magic so much miracles i was blown away that little blown away uh, a mind blown emoji just kept coming up for me <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> it's like everything that i that that i that i that i needed or wanted showed up for me as if by magic family it was from a simple thing as like we went into this coffee shop uh, for to grab some breakfast and i said oh i want to sit in that nook right there but there's somebody in there so you know that would be the perfect little nook for us and uh and as i waited for for the for the breakfast to come uh to be ready i uh the as the second the breakfast was ready the people got up from the nook and left and the nook was available. <laughs> Something as simple as that. And then we look out the window from the nook and across the street was angel number 1111 on the building family. Then I was cold. I forgot my jacket because we were going to go to the beach. I was like, it's going to be cold at the beach. It turned out not to be. But anyway, we went to a store to look for a jacket and it was a buy one get one family so my daughter got hers and i got mine for free so it's like <laughs> and it just kept going like that parking spots right in front gliding right in didn't have to look it was just uh earth angels popping up out of nowhere to 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 guide and direct us where when we looked like we didn't know where we were going like immediately uh it was just uh uh, uh, that was just like little minor little things, right? That, that just, uh, throughout the entire trip, it was like that, like the magic was just so beautiful. And, uh, so I journaled it. So much happened that was so fluid, so synchronistic, so aligned. And it was all because of present moment energy, following our intuition, asking the universe out loud and, and, and the universe delivering and your spirit guides, the universe delivering immediately on the flight there, family. The, mo the craziest thing the I was sitting next to a man. I'm going to get emotional. Sorry, because this was really beautiful. I was sitting next to a man that looked just like my, my dad that passed away. And uh, I, I had to do a double take family. I had to do a double take and uh, his peripheral, his side view, everything. And um, beautifully enough, on the way back, a completely different man a completely different man than the one I was sitting next to that looked just like him again. But this time he didn't sit next to me. He was just like facing me, looking right at me. So it was a very strong message that your deceased loved ones, your, 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 your loved ones, uh, is with you. Um, so close by and guiding you. And, um, and, and, and they show up like that, right? Through synchronicities and through these, Soup, like it felt like a supernatural thing like these 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 beautiful chain of events you know that that, that goes that goes on like what are the chances right what are the odds that the the man sitting next to me on the plane was going to be somebody that was like my my father's doppelgang doppelganger you know and uh and and it was really it was really nice it was really nice to, to sit next to him so i wanted to share that with you guys but anyways let's get into the reading family um I'm, I, I, uh, again, I'm just, uh, still mind blown of, of how much the universe showed, showed us, showed me, showed my, my daughter and I, we just kept looking at each other with big, big eyes with, with awe, with, you know, the magic, right? Enjoying the magic and the wonder of the universe in awe with every single alignment, 
how everything just unfolded, how everything just fell into place, how everything was just so smooth. And, and it, it was a divinely guided trip. Even the, even the, I only paid actually for my flight family, because this was an invitation from my daughter. She took care of everything. Um, my, even my flight was, uh, uh, cost one, 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 what? angel number one 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 you know which is also the three of wands energy of travel right at a distance so um everything was just uh perfectly aligned exactly how it was meant to and i'm grateful for for that and i'm still mind blown i'm still you know in awe of of, of how the proof the proof the confirmation that the universe is is there was no more clear way that the, for the universe to show me to just be, to just flow, to just allow, right? And, and release the resistance, the path of least resistance and release the striving, release the, 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 the doing and the trying and the this and the that and the thinking and the, you know, um, and even today I was reminded of that when I was like, I got to do this reading and that reading and that reading and I have to do this, that, that and the other. And the universe said, no, 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 no. You need to go into quiet time. Cause I didn't, I, I did my affirmations on this trip, but I didn't meditate and I meditate every single day. Spirit said, go into quiet time and, and, and do an aura cleanse, cleanse your energy, get yourself grounded, get yourself, you know, call your energy back. And before you do the reading, patience is power, right? And patience is the key family. So, all right, I want to get started. I want to thank everyone for being here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the videos I, I, I had left for you guys for the weekend. Um, I'm glad I was able, I, you know, I was, I'm glad I was able to do those for you before I, before I left. Uh, thank you so much for all the love you guys sent my way, the beautiful comments, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for donating to the channel, for scheduling readings with me, for sending beautiful decks my way from my wish list. Everything's on my website in the description box below. Please take only what resonates. This is general and leave the rest for others, family. All right, let's go. I'm going to say my prayer and then we're going to get started. You guys are welcome to pray with me to call in your team or you guys can uh, skip this part. Okay. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spare guys. May this may this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Family, I was just told by by the angels to to show you guys this book that I was reading on the plane, and that I highly recommend it. It's this one by Eckhart Tolle. It's called A New Earth: Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. It's a huge. It's a it's a very uh, beautiful book. Um, it's a great book about the ego family so definitely check it out okay so spirit just told me to show you guys that to recommend this book to you guys all right so i'm gonna get started with this deck because this uh striving card kept coming to me from this deck for the past few days and um and i'm and you know normally that's how the divine um that's how the divine guides me to a deck as they show me an energy from the deck so let's see i'm gonna split the deck we have travel i can't make this stuff up <laughs> family travel we have let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony may divine order arrange and handle every detail oh my god i am here for the magic note your comments below i'm here for the magic 
I'll be guided easily and follow the, the leads as they are shown. That's exactly how it was. That's exactly how it happened, family. Okay, I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> so some of you guys are being guided to travel. For some of you guys, go, okay? Go because um, you're going to experience a lot of breakthroughs and, and magic and miracles on your trip. Some of you guys need a break right now, okay? It's a very important, uh, I, I feel different. I'm back from this trip and I'm feeling different and I'm just sitting with what, where I'm at and what I feel. I remember Lee, before I left, um, the energy came out saying that I was going through another ascension, that I was going through another level up, another upgrade, another rising of my, to another level, to another frequency, to another vibration. So I was already starting to feel different. And then I was, um, at the ocean and everything just uh i went through a purge that day i was at the ocean like a uh, heavy heavy runny nose and sneezing I only lasted a day and and it normally happens after I, I i come out of working on my upper chakras and uh you know it was it was a little bit of of an annoyance but i understand i i know when when that happens i know why it happens so um huge release huge purge taking place at this time so you guys could be feeling that right now because you guys are right rising up another level to another frequency another vibration okay another timeline you're closing out a cycle getting ready to start a new one split the deck we have direction lord please show me the right action right now please bring a sign and and a miracle that gives clear direction may i hear the promptings of my own body and and if for some reason i'm about to head the wrong way please stop me stop me I, that's that's exactly what i heard spirit say today when i was when i said um i have to do this i gotta do that da -da 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 -da. and my head spirit said stop it that's that's exactly what i saw stop it just like that stop it now spirit said you're not in feminine energy right now a flow so um huge message family okay what else here for the collect what is the message for monday the fifth what is the message for monday the fifth compassion trust trust doubt releasing your doubts when love is invited to take over right actions arise at the right time that's exactly what this trip was like allow me dear divine to wait patiently until the timing is right let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is known trust and then we have money here all of my finances are now in divine order love itself knows my needs and it is the source for all i needn't cling to gain or fear loss Every need will be met through offerings all to the divine. Gonna have one more here. So releasing your fear and direction. That actually jumped, family. Remember, I split the deck and that was the energy. And sanctuary. One more. Forgiveness. So that's back. It's been here. Compassion and forgiveness here goes hand in hand. Anything else? Health. Taking good care of your health right now. Paying attention to your health. Because your health is your wealth and abundance. Which is a, a, for, a feminine, uh, which not feminine, which is empress energy here. So we have health, forgiveness, abundance, and compassion here. Compassion and forgiveness. Higher heart chakra. As you, as you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever-deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. So having compassion for yourself and um, enjoying the journey. Enjoying the journey. We have direction. I'll read that again since it came out twice. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. Please stop. So that's what I do when I go into my, my intuition meditation. That's my intention. My intention is to please, um, for my intuition to guide me, to direct me uh, towards my health. 
to alert me what my body is trying to tell me when it comes to my health, right? And uh, the direction towards the money path, towards wealth, prosperity, towards abundance, towards true love, my true soulmates, towards the right people, right opportunities, conscious connections, right? Healthy, healthy, you know, um, actions here in my life, you know, and, and make it clear. And please give me the courage, right, to, to, to follow my intuition once I see it clearly that that's the direction for me to go. Because we may hear it and see it and feel it the direction but it does take confidence and courage to take the action towards that direction if it's outside of our comfort zone right family we have forgiveness here healing comes from acceptance it's crazy because i was just in meditation and i was thinking to myself how um how much freedom i feel in my heart area how much how much i let go how much i don't feel any attachments to anything or to anyone for that matter and then it came to me in meditation how much it was the forgiveness work that emotionally freed me it was the forgiveness work that gave me my life back that gave me my 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 energy back you know my freedom my liberation the lightness that i feel in my chest and in my body and and uh and, and this is where it's at family to keep doing, I did the, the forgiveness affirmations for five months straight. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. Some of you guys, again, with this travel card, some of you guys are guided to take a little a little getaway somewhere, even if it's just a, a staycation, right? So you can do some, some, uh, some self-care. I believe that that was one of the energies from this weekend's reading. We have health here. Allow me divine to be tender and accepting of my body, no matter what ailments I may have. May I always know it's doing the best that it can. Help me to be a loving ally and a friend to the sacred form. So it is your temple, right? Your, uh, your human, what is it? Your, um, um, your vessel, right? Your, 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 your vessel that's carrying, that's, what is it? Uh, we're, we're all here having a human experience. So your body, your physical body, that is just that, right? That's just a flesh is, uh, needs your attention, needs you to take very good care of it so that it, you can extend your life. Your health is your wealth. Okay. So when you're feeling good, what, you know, that's taking good care of what, of, of your body in every way, going to your wellness checks, right? Um, resting, eating properly, you know, a, a good diet, a good health care diet so you can take care of your, well, there was a word that came to me when I was, uh, when I was away, uh, cause I was just observing everyone and I was just observing, you know, how everyone has this beautiful soul and, um, and, and, and their, and their, and their bodies, right? There's, they're just, it's just that it's just, it's just carrying it. Right. It's just, uh, that's all that it is. Right. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just, uh, what is it? A temporary, a temporary vessel, right? Um, that, that, <laughs> that, that, uh, that, that's carrying us, that's carrying our spirit, that's carrying our, our soul, right? So, um, I can't even remember the word that it came to me on the trip, um, about it, but, um, but yeah, your health is really, I was just trying to remember it, but it'll come to me when it comes to me, but that's, but that's the message family to take care of your physical vessel. Okay. That's carrying you. So, um, so that, so that you can, you know, extend, extend, extend your life as much as possible. Right. And, and be here with us, you know, for, for as long as possible, because the, the, the world needs you. We have abundance here. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receiving. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. I just said vehicle. Your body is like that, right? It's like a vehicle, <laughs> a vessel. <laughs> so um, it's important to take. So so it's, so it's like, it's that message of looks fade, all of that fade, right? But your soul, you know, um, your soul 
is 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 what stays with you is what matters is what's important your sp your spirit and your soul so um so take good care of yourself right now family okay i'm gonna split the deck we have uh the queen of swords here the queen of swords brilliant <laughs> experienced uh, the Queen of Swords has gone through a lot, a lot of hardships, has gone through divorce for most, not, not afraid to cut people and situations out of, out of, out of her life. You know what came to me today? I was just telling my daughter this, how I'm becoming very good at, um, putting myself first. That's Queen of Swords energy. You know, I'm not, uh, jumping, not stopping what I'm doing. This also came to me on the trip as well, because there were people messaging me. And I said, right now, I'm, 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 I'm spending time with myself. I'm being in the present moment. I'm taking, you know, I'm taking time for me. I will, res I will respond when I return, right? To my, to the text messages that I was receiving. I will respond to people when I return, you know? And, um, and, be and before I was, I, I used to stop what I was doing. I could be at the gym and stop my workout to respond to people and, and things like that, you know? So I've gotten really good at, well, I'm getting better at, you know, just, um, being patient and, and putting myself first and, uh, you know, and, and that's could be a message for some of you guys as well, that everyone and everything can wait, right? If you're in the middle of doing something for you, um, it can wait until you can give your full attention to it. Which, which means a lot more, right? Instead of rushing the message because so you can go back to doing what you were doing for you kind of thing, you know? So we have brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, uh, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Exactly. Seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorce or an unmarried uh, person. All right. So we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is, up, is here. Let's see why. We have a celebration getting together here with family and friends. What else here for the collective for Monday the 5th? I'm going to do tomorrow's reading. After this reading, I'm going to meditate. Look at that. So we have a, a, a card of, 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 of travel. I'm moving away here from, uh, from, from difficulties, okay? We have two fives. We have the five of pentacles, which could be a financial loss. We have five, wow, three, five, Sam, we could be seeing five, five, five. So we're moving away, six of swords, six of swords could also be travel as well. Direction here, we're, we're, compassion and forgiveness for this energy here. We're moving away from cloudy, cloudy time, moving towards the sun from to calmer waters. We're in transition right now. Okay. So that's beautiful that that actually came out. We have emotional loss here. We also have conflicts. So five, five of wands, five of cups, and five of pentacles, all here, back to back. And yes, worries, fears, stress, anxieties, all of this can create, you know, issues with your health, okay? So that's why it's really important to, to stay determined when it comes to, you know, protecting your energy, when it comes to your peace and your happiness, okay? And forgiveness is going to help to clear this up as well. We have negative thoughts, Take control of your thoughts. Archangel Michael said that today. Um, and take your energy back. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor, poor timing if it, if, it, if it comes to uh, starting a new business. I feel like it's only poor timing for to start a new business if you have uh, a negative mindset around it. Okay? Because right now we have zero planets in retrograde until April. So, you know, if you have an inspired idea, uh, definitely, yes, uh, use, use caution, right? And, um, don't be careless and reckless if, if, if you're struggling financially right now, but, um, take that first step or two towards that idea that you got. Okay. Cause the divine is trying to guide you direction towards calmer, smoother seas, calmer, smoother waters here towards, you know, uh, it, it's going to be here as family. We have, we have, uh, a card here of challenging times of you possibly being out in the cold or doing things alone, not having a lot of help, right? F striving, 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 striving to get things off the ground, to get things done. But it feels like you're hitting some kind of an impasse, right? Um, like a, like a wall or like a, you know, and it's like, you, you, you feels like you, you're just, you just, 
keep three of three of wands keep working keep trying but it's like there's you keep getting you know hit with with adversities or challenges or conflict it is to make you stronger by the way right you do have abundance coming in you just gotta align with this frequency become this energy by doing um by by taking control of your negative thinking taking control of your thoughts you know um being in gratitude right and um doing a gratitude list gratitude affirmations or an abundance affirmations right so you can and, and and keep bringing yourself back to trust and faith right know that the universe has your back the universe spirit has not spirit is not going to let you down to pray about it call in archangel michael call in archangel shamuel the angel of abundance right and really you know tap into your faith i do feel like that's you know was one of the reasons why the universe showed me how everything was just super aligned and smooth on this trip you know to show me that i'm i'm being divinely guided protected and um and everything is falling into place and everything will fall into place if you just let go of the reins you know and, and and not micromanage the universe we have here's the ending of challenging times we have three cards of challenge five of cups five of pentacles and five of of wands here things are looking up a welcome relief finding your way to a peaceful place the end of depression or an illness yeah your health is getting better and again travel or relocation travel twice even if you're not traveling physically, this could be metaphorically, okay? So this may be your energy. It could be somebody in your energy that is finally coming out, right? Finally having compassion for themselves. Forgiveness is what's going to clear you and this person from this, these fives, energy of change, obstacles, you know, challenges here, okay? I'm going to have one more or two more, Spirit, two more here. And then look at that. We have compassion on... Um, we have the five of pentacles right on the compassion and then we have the six of swords right on the direction here okay so that you're being guided lord please show me the right action right now so this is i feel like this is your spirit guides telling and this is you here in the boat and the spirit guides is telling you enjoy the ride um don't allow me to you know um take take control and take charge here put your hands and feet in the boat right and let me carry you the universe is saying let me carry you here okay the six swords is the swords of 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 your um you know of your lessons that you're taking with you okay what else for the collective for monday the fifth well, that's a lot that's a lot i'm not taking all of this what else for the fifth here i have one more okay and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is this slow movement, right? A very loyal and dedicated, protective, apprehensive. This is somebody that plans carefully, okay? Right under right under forgiveness because this is somebody that learned not to rush. Because when we rush, we don't build a very, a very strong and solid foundation, okay? Uh, plan carefully before taking any kind of action, right? But uh, but then get going. It's important to, to make the moves when you're guided in your direction to make this move. Pay attention to the details right now and wait for the perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you is guiding you here. And I said that earlier, right? You're being You're being heavily guided. There's angels here that's guiding you. But you're being asked to have patience and, and, and keep going, slow and steady, okay? And then we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck under health here. The Wheel of Fortune under health. We have the Knight of Swords there. Decision. Somebody's making a decision right now. A fresh new start or the end of delays. <laughs> Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel again. Travel three times. Or a new vehicle. So the Wheel of Fortune is saying things are moving. We're on the wheel of destiny. On the wheel of fate. This is the universe. You releasing the wheel. Letting the universe carry you. Right? And um, and guide you. Your, your only job is to follow. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. And, and follow the steps okay that the universe is giving you exactly here whether you're traveling metaphorically or traveling in real life let every aspect of this trip that you're taking unfold in harmony may may divine order arrange and handle everything right here i'll i'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown right so it's like the universe is is, is dropping breadcrumbs for you in your life as to where to go next what to do next everything should be smooth sailing from here on now your job is to 
you know, take that step and, and, and pay attention to the details as they show up here for you. Okay. And yeah. And it is very important that you, um, also focus on as your worries starts to go away because things are smoothing out for you, your health will start to improve as well because stress causes, you know, health issues. Um, so with the wheel of fortune is talking about, there's going to be a change in your fortune. So if you have, you know, experienced some kind of financial loss or even emotional loss, abundance is coming in. That's going to change. That's going to turn around for you, family. Okay. The wheel of fortune brings in a powerful change, a new direction, a new direction for some. And it also brings in, um, good luck, right? It's a lucky time. Good luck. Good fortune, expansion in your life, a change in your career, in your finances, in your love life, in your home, or in every area of your life. Let's get, let's get some more here. Here he is again. <laughs> here he is again, right? Here he is again, trying to distract us from our faith, right? Here he is again, uh, planting seeds of doubt, trying to, trying to make us feel helpless, powerless, and hopeless, right? But we know better don't we we know better we know we know that the angels are close right uh th this 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 devil energy within us pops up sometimes right and um as long as we are we have done the shadow work and we are conscious and aware when when our ego is is flared up right because of whatever sudden change that we're experiencing you know um we we know to to, to take control of the energy to take our energy back, right? And, uh, and, and, and redirect, redirect the energy, right? Redirect the energy, refocus, refocus our energy on what we do want and, and feel it and get into that feeling. Okay. Look, the fool here, there's a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning. What else here for the collective family, for the, for the, for, the, for spirit, what else spirit for, for, for a beautiful family? We have here the hermit going within, spending, spending time with ourselves, right? To get answers, uh, to, so that we can get to get answers from within, to get our guidance from within here, family with the hermit Virgo energy. This is also Virgo energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy also pays attention to the details of everything as well, right? This is an, uh, an analyzer. Okay. Uh, somebody here, you or somebody, in your energy is contemplating a lot, thinking a lot, analyzing a lot, paying attention to every detail here. Okay. And, um, doing, spending some time doing shadow work, right? Possibly looking at these negative thoughts, you know, um, what else here for the collective? We have the eight of swords. I saw that wanted to flip. Wow. Look at that. And look who's here trying to, trying to, trying to, <laughs> trying to join, trying to join the party here once again. Right. What's under that? Yeah. So this is somebody here that is very tempted here. Okay. To, to being guided, being tempted to take some kind of action, to take some kind of action here towards, um, towards something here that they desire, that they're very passionate about. This is a leader. Okay. I feel like this person here, they're looking away from the devil on their shoulder, trying to plant seeds of doubt, trying to, you know, get them to, to, to second guess themselves here. Okay. This is somebody that has, could even have some kind, there's this person is so determined that it might be even be becoming an obsession for this person to, um, come out, right. Uh, to leave behind what no longer serves and come out of a situation that's just not for them and move towards, you know, what is right. So we have the nine of cups. What a beautiful energy here, right under the six of swords. This is what we're moving towards. We're moving towards wish fulfillment, a dream come true, you know, self-love, right? We're moving towards, uh, we're moving away from lack consciousness and scarcity consciousness and feeling alone. I can't ignore the fact that I saw loneliness here, feeling alone, feeling left out, feeling like we don't have help and support, right? And moving towards, um, emotional independence, and satisfaction and emotional fulfillment and a wish come true here. Okay. Right under the six of swords, loneliness. When you stop, when you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come. 
So very beautiful. And you're about to get an abundance of love here. Okay. Open yourself up to receive because the next card here that came out, um, right under the night of Pentacles. So there's, this is somebody here that I feel like for some of you guys, I'm going to read it both ways. So this is your energy moving really slowly, right? Towards whatever goal that you have for yourself that is, um, aligned with the 10 of Pentacles, right? Because the night is the only night. The plan is to get to the Ten of Pentacles, which is the end all be all, the quintessential dream, financial freedom, security, all of that, family life, right? It feels like for others of you guys, you know, uh, when you offer, I, I, that's also what came to me when I was out in the world <laughs> traveling is acts of kindness doing nice things for somebody right doing kind things right from from your heart right giving somebody your seat that happened a lot okay on this trip i, I had uh i got onto this this bus and this man got up right away from me you know and um these are these are the things right that helps to balance out uh the abundance in your life the equal give and receive okay so uh i'm getting that as well you're, you're creating abundance so that you can share your abundance with others. Okay. And I'm also getting here for others of you guys, it, it's, it could be that as well as both somebody here finally coming out. This is somebody that's feeling very alone. As you know, this is a true love, the true love gang. This is somebody here that's feeling very alone and left out in the cold, right? Seeking answers from within, seeking direction and guidance from within and moving towards what fulfills them emotionally, coming out of a, dr a dried, dead, barren situation where there is no growth, physical growth there, right? And moving towards uh, releasing guilt, I'm getting. The angels is helping this person out. This is somebody here that's very depressed. As you can see, they're looking down. They're sitting outside. And these angels has their hands on this person's head, comforting them, showing them that they're not alone, right? Um, while you're on this quest, traveling, while you're on this spiritual quest, quest here, right? You're receiving a lot of guidance that's moving you forward in the, your direction. I'm, I'm either talking to you. Um, I, yes, yes, I am. I'm talking to you as well as the person in your energy, okay? This person, uh, you and this person both are getting direction. I do feel this energy has merged you and this person. You're on this journey together. You're not traveling alone, even though it may feel like that in the physical Okay, I do feel like you're, you're both headed in the same direction. And then when you guys meet, right, you guys are serendipitously, you guys are getting ready to, to join forces here, okay, and um, open up to receive. This is somebody here that's planning to come and give to you. While you're focused on, on giving to others, you there's somebody here planning to give to you. And the universe is saying, release your fears and worries and open yourself up to receive. Because I do, I do feel here that there is a hidden blessing for you in the skies coming in. Um, can I please uh, have one for the hermit? We have the world. So again, with the traveling for a fourth time now or fifth, you know, the spirit is saying, you know, there, this is, uh, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is the journey of the, the spiritual journey. Okay. But there is, um, the ending here of a cycle that actually came out. Um, that actually came out. I'm just sorry. I just got it to a deck here real quick. That came out right here today. You're at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels here to comfort you and to guide you six of swords and to guide you toward to, to your next step. Happiness awaits you now family. So, um, that's this, a very, uh, successfully com coming to full circle here, successfully completing this tough cycle of, of loss, financial loss for some of, uh, scarcity. This five of pentacles comes from root chakra needing to, uh, maybe do some root chakra meditations, right. Or calling in Archangel Samuel to help here as well. This world is saying you're accomplishing something major here, right? Somebody's at the end of this, uh, I guess shadow work or spending time doing this inner work here. It's like they got the answers that they were seeking. Okay. And now they're coming out of it, right? They're coming out of it. This is somebody here that is very determined. Okay. That has been perhaps in resistance energy. Can I have one for the nine of cups? 
Oops, there's that there's that King of Wands again showing up, family. So the King of Wands is determined, as I said, determined here. Okay, not backing down. They're not backing down from their wish, from what they want. They're determined to close out this cycle of, of loneliness, of solitude, of being left out in the cold, right? And um, and they want to stand up and fight for for stand up for the connection, stand up for you, stand up for what they want, for their, for their desires, for their passions, right? And take the lead. This is a leader. This is an energy of somebody that's very ambitious, passionate about life, very creative even, okay? And somebody that doesn't stay in situations that doesn't really fulfill them for too long. They have their eye on their nine cups. They have their eye on what, what completely satisfies and emotionally fulfills them. And that's where they're headed, fam. That's where they're headed, okay? So this person here, this masculine energy is closing out a cycle of, of doing this inner shadow work, this inner work, right? And this shadow work was revolving um, around their worth, their self-esteem, their confidence, you know, their lack of consciousness, feeling good enough, okay? And, 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 and it has helped them to raise their, their confidence some. This is them working on their solar and sacral chakra here of, um, of you know, again, of inner peace, feeling more personal power in their life, more self-confidence, more self-worth, right? And accepting their gut feelings here where it's guiding them, okay? Even, so much so that they're even setting boundaries in their life, standing up for themselves. This is probably somebody that didn't have the strength or the, or the confidence to do that in the past. And now they're doing more of that. And here they come, moving very slowly and very cautiously, right? Maybe getting ready. Maybe they, this person um, breadcrumbed you in the past. It wasn't equal give and receive, right? They didn't put in the time, the energy, and the effort. They didn't invest, you know, and... Um, they, they might have been, I'm seeing this, I'm looking at this five of pentacles. They might have been miserly. They might have been greedy with their love, with their emotion, with their time, with their energy, with their finances, their resources. Okay. And, um, and it's like now they learn a very valuable lesson here about that, right? About kindness and about generosity and, um, you know, um, about the importance of, of equal give and receive and reciprocity, right? And 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 they want to, it feels like with this loyal, dedicated, protective energy here of the Knight of Pentacles, it feels like now this person wants to come in and again, same energy, right? Um, and, 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 and give and, and invest, right? And spoil the, the person that they, that they feel brings them a lot of joy and emotional satisfaction and emotional fulfillment here can i have one for the six of pentacles please yeah so we have death card at the bottom of the deck we have sagittarius energy here so yeah they 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 want to balance things out with the there's a there's a justice scales here right and we have two cards of balance so balance is coming into your life is being restored things are going to be more peaceful more harmonious here and, um, and, and again, and balance, this is a soulmate that wants to make things right. Uh, this is also my divine counterpart card wants to make things right. Wants to balance things out. Wants peace, wants harmony, right? That you bring a lot of peace. Like I said, emotional fulfillment and harmony into this person's life and positivity. Okay. And, um, and like I said, this connection here really did transform both of you. It is an end to this, the difficult timing. So this person is going through an ending in their life where it's it's helping to move them forward towards towards love. It's, it's connecting them to love. It's bringing them back to love. They got to experience something here that um, wasn't, um, it was a lesson for this person here, okay? Um, it was a lesson in love. And um, they're surrendering now, but it's like now they want to come in and fight for this, fight for you, stand up for the connection, take the leadership. Right, this person has gone through an ending in their life. They have gone through a transformation, okay? And um and now, like I said, they want this this death card is an ending that brings in a new beginning. It is a spiritual transformation as well as a rebirth <laughs> and and a fresh start, okay? So, um there is going to be an opportunity here to make amends uh to to heal, okay? and um bring restore the balance into the connection and, and this is the the change here that you probably don't see coming right we have here a, a very positive change in your life okay a fresh new start it is the end of delays sudden and unexpected progress and, and and right under sudden unexpected progress 
we have this person is going to go from planning, 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 moving very slowly, planning very carefully to all of a sudden um, seizing the moment and seizing the opportunity. And, and, and we saw the full card right in the beginning of the reading and taking the leap of faith. We have decisive focus driven events that move with great speed. <laughs> choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional right sudden or unexpected changes okay so we have that twice back to back so it's going to happen suddenly this this is going to happen suddenly and write that down this will happen suddenly okay and um and, and it's and it's happening this is a card of the angels archangel michael Right. This is what, why you're being asked to trust right now and have faith that things are unfolding exactly as it should. This person here learned some Saturnian lessons. This is Saturn. This is also the four fixed signs. Okay. We have Scorpio here twice. Scorpio twice. Um, Aquarius, Leo, as well as uh, what's the other one? Taurus. We have Virgo. We have all the air, all the fire signs here. We have Sagittarius as well as any of the water signs as well as Earth. We have again the four fixed signs here again and um, an Aquarius energy with the six of swords, Capricorn um, as well as Virgo. So Virgo twice. If that's important to you guys. Uh, I know you guys, some of you guys like to hear it for confirmation. Um, you may have it in your chart or, or the people in your life may ha have it strongly in their chart, but it looks to me like you're getting your wish family. Okay. And, um, right now just open up to receive, uh, you're getting, uh, satisfaction is, is, is coming. Okay. You are coming or you and this person are coming out of this tough cycle. You're at the end of this cycle here. And, um, again, peace is being restored. Balance is being restored. Just continue to just flow right now right? And, and trust in the process. Okay. Progress is being made. I'm going to get a message from the healing waters and then we'll wrap. And then I'll do uh, tomorrow. I'm going to meditate again before I do tomorrow's reading. But thank you guys for your patience and getting, um, cat on, I'm playing catch up. <laughs> But this is beautiful energy here of flow, allowing, surrendering, and acceptance so that we can receive, right? Beautiful energy of going with the flow here with the temperance card of patience. Patience is, is, is power. That actually came out today as well. Uh, let me see if it's still close by here. There's a wish coming that came out today. And then slow down right here. Slow down Knight of pentacles and temperance. That's moderation. It's a card of moderation because balance is being restored right now. Change your attitude. Five of pentacles, change your attitude and clear your mind. Okay. So that came out also today. So we have multiple energies of patience. So you guys have been mastering patience while in this period of delays in this period of, of patience, right? We have been working on this forgiveness and compassion and working on our emotional, spiritual, physical, and mental health, right? To get us into this alignment of abundance. We have been working on feeling really good with our, with our solitude within our energy, feeling, getting, you know, becoming, and this person has as well. You can't have one person that's comfortable with being alone that found themselves, that fell in love with themselves, have been working on their self-love, right? And another still codependent can't be alone, right? Family. So that's the reasons for the pauses, the delays and all of that. So that two people can come into harmony, into balance, into alignment in the same frequency. Two people comfortable with, with being alone, right? And finding themselves and, and focusing on and doing the self-love work. So we're not in any kind of codependent or needy or attachment type of, uh, type of energy, right? With anyone. So there's been a lot of introspecting, contemplating, self-reflecting, soul searching here about that energy, about, you know, loss and being alone and not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy. Both people have been doing this work. Okay. And, and now it feels like someone is feeling good in their energy, feeling like, very emotionally satisfied within them, themselves, very emotionally independent. 
this person is feeling emotionally independent now. So now, you know, now you can have a healthy partnership that one person is not going to give more than the other, trying to, to overgive, to, to prove their worth or to be chosen or to work for love, right? It's going to be a balanced, peaceful, and harmonious connection, harmonious relationship. That was the point of the separation. That was the point of the delays. That was the point of, 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 you know, things moving really slow, right? So you can have a healthy connection family. Okay. And it looks to me like it's coming. <laughs> Get excited. Stay in this energy. Oop, okay. Stay in this energy of, 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 of gratitude and, and celebration. We have soul mission here. Trust the inner call and soul team. What a beautiful card. Planetary wave. Planetary wave. All right here. 116. I opened right to it and then I, and I missed it. Your soul chose to come into this body on this planet. That's what I was trying to tell you guys earlier. <laughs> that it's just the body, right? The flesh, right? So that's why spirit is saying, take care of your flesh right now. At this, at this moment in time, you didn't come here on your own. You are part of the larger soul team. Sometimes it can feel as if it's just you in this thing all alone, but that couldn't be further from the truth. You're, you're one droplet in the vast ocean of consciousness here to flow with life. You're being called to trust the current of your own river and to answer the call deep within, deep within. Take the weight of responsibilities that you need to travel this life on your own. Again, with the travel six times, you're a fellow traveler. <laughs> Call in the ones who get you. Realize that you are a part of a larger team. You, you are but one thread in the great ta tapestry of life. Your mission is clear. Keep doing what you're called to do. You'll never know the full impact that you're being that you're being here on this planet will have and it and is already having keep trusting the call within the more you embrace who you truly are and surrender to and flow with the current you're being called to the easier it will be for your people to find you yes family like i was telling this girl that was called to me on at the airport when we were waiting a young a young lady she was drawn to me and she kept asking me all these spiritual questions. It's like she knew where to go, right? And uh, and she told she was telling me that she feels like she's a part of the ascension of the planet, and she's a part of of those who. And she was she has actually a Virgo with a Cancer moon, so she's extremely intuitive, extremely spiritual young lady, you know, uh, my daughter's age, and. Uh, and she just like was drawn to me like a magnet at the airport and sat next to me and started talking to me about all this spiritual stuff, you know, and, um, and, 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 uh, it was, it was nice. It was nice to, and, and that's exactly, that's exactly, you know, what, 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 where this is talking about here, you know, that the more you embrace who you truly are and surrender to the flow with the current you're being called to, the easier it will be for your people to find you like two rivers that meet and remember that they're made of the same things. You're not alone in your calling, your, your affirmation. I trust my inner calling and play my part in the greater plan. And you know, um, and that's exactly what I was telling my daughter also on the plane is because my daughter has been praying for the universe to send her a really good friend, a soul sister, a soul, you know, uh, she, she has been, uh, praying to align with uh, a spiritual community that she can, you know, do things with connect with that's more in alignment with her frequency, with her energy. The friends that she grew up with are just not on her because my, my daughter has also been going through her ascension and her awakening is not on her vibration. Right. And, um, and so, and she, that's why I went with her because, <laughs> uh, you know, she, she, she doesn't have that person in her life yet uh, that she can um, do these things with, you know, and, um, and she said, right. She, she calls, she calls me her best friend, but she knows that I am her mother, right. We have uh, a good understanding of, uh, 
when when I'm when I'm in mommy mode, right? And when um, she says that I, she calls me her best friend, and that you know we're we're able to 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 do these spiritual things together. And just in the plane last night, on the plane last night, I called to the angels the same way I did for my son uh, when I when I prayed for my son to meet his soulmate. Um, and, and then he did, right? Um, I, I did the same prayer for my daughter, for spirit and the angels to please asking shall receive family for, for, for the spirit guides and the angels to please, um, align my daughter with, a, with, a, with her, her soulmates, you know, her soul family, her soul tribe, her sisters, you know, her sisters, her brothers, that's more, you know, that, that, that she can that they can learn from each other, grow together, right? And um, inspire each other, encourage each other, motivate each other to help each other to heal, to ascend, to grow, to evolve, you know, that they can connect with a spiritual and a soul level that matches her frequency. I prayed out loud. I asked for the angels to please um, guide my daughter and to guide her and to guide, you know, the people to, that's how, that's how you do it, family, you, and then you just surrender, you let go and you just open yourself up to receive, right? These uh, spiritual community, spiritual fan, friend, spiritual tribe. So you are definitely not on this journey alone. In the meantime, you do have the angels here. See? The angels on your shoulder. We did. We kept seeing the devil try to come out and pop up. You know, it's ugly head uh, throughout the reading here a couple times, right? But the angels are here so strong. You have the angels here, the angel here, right? We have here the angels carrying you and taking you, directing you here and this person that you're connected with. Okay, you're not alone on this journey, family. You have your us, our community here, so family, so tribe. Definitely reach out to me if you guys would like, you know, um, your own personal reading. I'm going to leave this uh, message for today right here. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments below. Thank you all so much for your love, for your like. For your light, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for every which way you guys show up for yourselves, for each other in our community, as well as for me. Thank you for your love and support. I love you all. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's reading. God bless you. And namaste, family. Much love.